Good morning guys. Only just, I think it's about midday. It's about my time for walking. In the midday sun, isn't it? So guys, I'm going to take you on a little walkabout. We are just opposite uh, me and or my Ann beach. And so I thought I'd give you a little bit of a walk along the beach briefly before I take you through some streets of Da Nang to show you what it's like around. There's an Instagram spot if ever I've seen one. Now as you see guys, the beaches are pretty desolate during the day it's too hot but of course I'm out in it in my black hoodie as you guys know what I'm like so uh, just in case you didn't know where we were just to say that I'm proving you proving to you that I am there look there's another Instagram spot look they set up all over Vietnam actually. This one. Could set that on fire, couldn't you? Yeah. So that place up there is uh Sun Char Mountain, Monkey Mountain, for obvious reasons. I'm gonna go up there in a couple of days. I'm gonna do a bike ride around with my son if he can manage to stay out longer than the 10 minutes. <laughs> So guys, this is a very, very, very long beach and one morning, one early morning, I'm gonna walk the full stretch all the way from uh, just around Man Thai Beach, just here. I'm gonna walk all the way around here. I'm gonna walk all the way down there. And I'm gonna end up right down the bottom there, non Nuuk Beach. Yeah, I know. It's for the Blue Dragon Children's Foundation so please dig deep donate 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 so i'm going to be doing it early morning so it shouldn't be blistering heat like this but uh there are people here but they're all under shade nobody sits out in the sun it's not like the west not in the uh, in europe they don't do it but it's nice and uh, breezy by the by the sea itself Well, this is just a brief look at the beach at Nyan. My K Beach is just further up there. These are the Rathan, actually, it's a plastic one, I think. Uh, maybe bamboo, but painted. And here's another Instagram spot here. Right, let's get into the city and uh, show you some of the streets around near the hotels here there's plenty of hotels as you can see there's new ones going up there's quite a concrete jungle actually around this area and you'll see uh, as we go through the town there's even more smaller hotels these are the these are the beachfront ones okay I'll leave you with the the beach for now and then I'll uh, get on the road and show you the streets of Da Nang. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're just opposite the uh, coast road, if you like. It's a lot different from the coast road I know, near Mask and Red Car. But I uh, thought I'd show you some of the places that are nearby hotels that we would offer you in our, in our packages. Little cafes, hello, hi. There's a little coffee shop, and what's that one? Golden Pig? Golden Pig <laughs> coffee shop. And uh, 
there is so many seafood restaurants it's unbelievable last night we went to one that was uh, kind of recommended on google do check out that video to show show what happened there this high sound actually means seafood and non means uh tasty so basically you've got high sand you've got seafood tasty 27 seafood so repeat themselves there a little bit but anyway so this street is called where are we Nguyen Van Thuy. you see that just there this is just on the junction onto the coast road here and this actually I think this is my K Beach or just the start of my K Beach and you've got uh, a long street down here there's going to be loads of restaurants and all sorts so we're going to have a look down here see what's available first of all you've got high sand lang lang car car is fish I'm not sure what lang is maybe the name i'm not sure but nya hang means restaurant high sand means seafood as i say so let's go i mean that's two two on the corner of the the road that goes off into the city and they're uh, quite nice inside as well. Some guys going in there for lunch, some foreign guys. People are having hot pot. <laughs> Me and my wife cannot understand that. They're, they're eating hot pot in baking weather, but uh, here's uh, another seafood place. Now, normally what you'll see is, uh, is tanks, fresh water tanks or seawater tanks. You can see lobster there, 1.45 million per kilo. 1.75, so that's mostly a different kind of lobster, more expensive. There's even one there for 2.15. Now, 2.3 million ish is a hundred dollars per kilo, so you can imagine. It's quite expensive. For most places, hello, YouTube. -y. So you can imagine uh, you need to pay to have lobster, but you know, judging from where you are, I mean, that's, there's the down there the beach and where I'm going to film the beginning of my marathon walk is Mantai Beach which is actually the fishing village where they all go out and collect all the fish all the restaurants and uh, hotels wherever they have seafood in their menu on their menus they go to the fishermen there and collect so I'll be doing that video as well so do stay tuned subscribe click the bell whatever you like do what what you want Woo, coconuts hi Cold drinks, that's what I need. Just on my K4, which tells you we are in my K. There's uh, some little craft shops. If you need any flip flops, thongs, or jandals, as you Kiwis say, or even swimsuit, then you can come here. Even get the conical hat, non la. But also, there's a night market near the Dragon Bridge. Now, I'll show you that video in the playlist or in the description below. We went to see the Dragon Bridge with my son, breathing fire and water. Quite interesting, quite funny, and quite disappointing at some point. But uh, do watch that video to find out why. Gone past another restaurant here with tanks, and tanks full of uh, seafood. The crabs have got little dicky balls on. Kua. If you ever need to know what crab is in Vietnamese, it's Kua. C U A. Uh, tip is uh, meat, so it's like crab meat. Kua gak is probably another type of uh, crab. That was about that's about a million per kilo. My wife loves loves crab. You got all sorts of wonderful dishes here. Uh, seafood here as well. Jesus. And you've got little uh, spa shops as well, massage, foot and body. And on the other side you'll see there's, uh, there's a couple of hotels, more budget hotels than the resorts on the seafront. And looks like a hotel that's actually been renovated. So these are all uh, Vietnamese named hotels and I was saying to my wife, you name a hotel after your Vietnamese name, don't expect a foreigner to remember it and pass the information on to say it was a good hotel. It's not gonna happen. I 
actually we went here yeah we did we came here for some food this is a good place for food we had uh, a dinner here a couple of years ago when we came last time Mi Kwang is uh, the favorite around here guys selling their sunglasses on the side of the street but be wary I mean sunglasses in Asia they don't they're not got the proper the proper lenses it's just see-through glass isn't it colored glass it's not going to protect your eyes so don't bother getting them from here bring them up from from home you may be paying more for them but you're actually getting UV protection or whatever it's called UVA is it there's also little markets here and there where you can get your water and and snacks if you need to for the hotel later on or water up for the beach there's also pharmacies just further down another 50 feet 50 meters and ATMs as well so you can get some cash out for those well-earned beers later on and Western food if you feel it do you feel it no Ah, if you didn't want seafood for your lunch, there's also uh, soup and mi kwang. Different sort of meals with uh, noodles and all that stuff. So these little places pop up all over the place. They've even got bun cha ka, which is a, similar to bun cha, but with, a, with fish, fish cakes, I think. My wife will tell you. And you've got cheap seafood over there. Look at that, cheap seafood. Nice one. So basically this, this is just a quick video basically to show you what's nearby the beachfront if you're staying in hotels with travel agent Hanoi. Beach is just up there, so it's just a short walk up the street to see what's available for snacks, food. And if you have rented a motorbike, you can get fuel from here. Okay guys, so that's just a quick one. Hope you enjoyed the video, please click like, subscribe and share. Laters!